Wonderland, it's Ari here, and today I have another book review of My Lady Jane. Ah. Okay, so this book, so freaking good. Like, I have so many things to tell you about this book, but the first thing I want to say to you guys is pick it up and read it. Like, this is the summer read, the royalty read, the read for 2016. Like, it's up there now as one of my favorite books. Of course, under Simon, but, you know, it's up there in the top five favorite books. So, first off, this book is about Lady Jane Grey. And, yes, she was a real person. Um, and she was Queen of England for nine days. And so, this book is a historical fiction, a historical retelling. And the three authors, Cynthia Han, Brodie Ashton, and Jody Meadows, they took history and they gave it a better ending because in real life, Lady Jane Grey was queen for nine days and then she was executed. Like, she was beheaded. And so, in this one, they gave her a way better ending, which I was super happy about. And so this is a YA historical fiction novel. And this is about, and they added some magic to the story too. So there's these uh, people who are Ethians, Edians, Edians, I never ne learned how to pronounce it, but they have the ability to turn from a human to an animal and then of course back to a human, however they please. And it's considered either as a gift or a curse. Now, of course, this book is in three point of views. You have Jane's point of view, and you have her cousin Edward's point of view. He is king at the time. And you have her husband's point of view, Gifford. But, you know, call him G because he hates that name. And so you pretty much follow the story of how, like, Edward, he is, like, really, really sick, and he's about to die, and he just makes Jane his next in line because he is... In this book, he is 16, he has no children, he has not married, he has no one to take the throne after him, so he pretty much is like, I'll make my cousin Jane the next queen. At first, he was like, her sons after her can become king, but then, you know, he's like, I'm running out of time, I'm getting ready to die, so she is about to become queen. And she's like, I don't want to be queen. I just want to read books, okay? I'm a book nerd, I love my books, and I love Edians and all that other stuff, but I don't want to be queen. And then her husband, he is one of those Edians. He is actually, he has the curse, when really it's a gift, to turn into a horse. But the problem is, he's a horse during the day and a man at night. So, like, during the day, he's gallop galloping off and whatever, and he doesn't know how to control his powers. He doesn't know how to turn back into a human during the day. He can only be human at night. So, of course, them getting married is an arranged marriage. So at first they're like, oh, I don't like you. And I don't like you. This is an arranged marriage. We don't like each other. We don't want to be married, but we're getting married anyway because we're being forced to. Plus Edward wanted her to get married before he passed away. So that's how the book starts off. And let me tell you, the character development throughout the story is really interesting and nice. Of course, it's in three point of views. You get Edward's point of view, G's point of view, and Jane's point of view. So you get each of their point of views and thoughts and feelings throughout the story. I do love that Jane is a book nerd. She is, that's one of the ways I relate to her. Another way I relate to her, she's being forced to do something that she doesn't really want to do, but she's doing it for her cousin who she loves. And so I um, kind of relate to that, actually. And then I also, and I bet every book nerd could relate to the fact that she's a book nerd, too. Like, she loves books so much, like... She even gave her husband these, like, rules about her books. Don't touch my books. Don't break the spine of my books. Don't do this to my books. And I'm like, we can all relate to that. Yes. Now, this book is very, very funny. It is very, very hilarious. There are some really cool and cute jokes in here. And then, and then of course, I was, like, laughing the entire time or I was commenting the entire time I was reading. And I'm pretty sure like a lot of people because I read this book in public I read it in the car and I read it at work when I was you know on break and I'm pretty sure and I try my very best to hold in the laughter hold in my like my smile and everything and I just couldn't because that's how funny this book is um the characters like I love how they kept the main characters from the real story they, you have Edward Jane G, his advisor, who's also G, G's father. You also have uh, Mary, 
And the way they had Mary, because Mary actually became queen after Jane was executed in real life. And in the book, Mary is trying to become queen, but she does not like Edians. And that was the same thing in real life, too, even though they weren't Edians, it was people of the church. So they I love how they kept that aspect or whatever. I love that. And then, oh my gosh, like there were so many things that like I'm just like, WTF, what the fuck? Like, I'm serious. Like, what the fuck just happened? Oh my gosh. Even though a few things I kind of saw coming, like, yeah, I, I knew, I knew. I knew that. And then, of course, some of the jokes just had me just, like, laughing and smiling. And then, at the beginning, Jane and G are so rude and mean to each other, but then they start to build this relationship and actually accept their marriage, and that is so cute. And they just start to, like, <sighs> And then the ending of this book, I don't want to, I think I... I don't want to give any spoilers or anything. I, I only gave like a couple of little tiny spoilers just now, but they weren't that big. So, you know, I didn't ruin the book for you guys. But I'm saying the ending was just amazing. And then this is a way better ending than how history has it. Because history, that was kind of cruel and mean and bad. It really, really was like... You just, you just, like, just, you beheaded her after nine days. In this book, of course, she's not beheaded. And then you discover so many things about these characters. And in a way, you just fall in love with these characters. And I fell in love with this book so hard. Now, I will admit this book is, like, super, super thick. It's 500 pages. But the fact that it has three point of views and it reads kind of fast. Like, you, you won't think that it's 500 pages when you read this. No. No, you won't. Because it reads kind of fast. And then it's three point of view. So it has this like nice little whimsical sensory or humor in it. And it's really, really nice. And I really, really love that about this book. Especially since these authors are really amazing ladies. They have really amazing books. Okay, I only read Cynthia Hand's books because I read the Unearthly series. I read her those books. And then even her... Um, contemporary book, The Last Time We Say Goodbye, was phenomenal. Like, it was so... <sighs> but I know Jenny Meadows writes The Orphan Queen. Trust me, that book is on my TBR list. And Brody Ashton, I never heard of her books, but I heard so many good things about her books and how great of an author she is. So for these three ladies to, like, band together and make their own superhero writing team, pretty much, to me, I'm, I'm, just, I'm a total geek, I'm a total nerd. So... Like, to make this team, and they make this glorious book was so amazing. I got this book in my owl crate for June, the royalty box. So, of course, it was a royal read, you know, you know, you know. So, but all in all, I really do love this book. I highly recommend this book to everyone, especially if you are a book nerd. Trust me, in a way, you will relate to this book. You will love this book. Um, It is up there on, like, top five books I recommend to everyone it is up there as in top five books that I love and that I would reread and I fell in love with and just this is such an amazing book like you have no idea but that's my review I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys go and pick up this book and go read it so keep calm and keep reading